The sinking of the Titanic in 1912 was a tragic event that resulted in the loss of approximately 1,500 lives and a significant amount of property and cargo. Among the items lost were several valuable artifacts, some of which have since been salvaged from the wreck. These artifacts include a high-performance car, five Steinway pianos, and even the world's most valuable cookie. In this article, we will explore the curious and priceless treasures that were recovered from the Titanic. One of the notable artifacts associated with the Titanic is a violin that belonged to musician Wallace Hartley. Hartley, who served as the bandmaster on the ill-fated ship, famously led his band in playing music even as the Titanic sank. The authenticity of the violin was initially questioned when it was discovered in an attic in 2004. However, a silver plate attached to the instrument, inscribed with a message from Hartley's fiancée, confirmed its connection to him. The violin was later auctioned in England in 2013, fetching an astonishing $1.7 million. Another interesting artifact is the Renault Type CB Coupe de Ville, owned by wealthy American mining here, William Billy Carter. Carter traveled first class aboard the Titanic, accompanied by his family, maid, and staff. Packed in a crate in the ship's forward hold was his luxurious French automobile. While Carter and his family survived the disaster, his maid, valet, chauffeur, and their two dogs did not. The car went down with the ship, and Carter later claimed $5,000 in compensation for its loss. The Titanic also carried five Steinway pianos, renowned for their excellence in the musical world. Three of these pianos, including a grand piano decorated with exotic woods, were placed in the first-class section, while the remaining two upright pianos were located in the second-class area. Unfortunately, all five pianos sank with the ship. One of the lost artworks aboard the Titanic was the painting La Circassienne Aubaine by French artist Mary Joseph Blondel. This impressive oil painting depicted a classical nude figure partially covered by a delicate fabric. A Swedish passenger named Moritz Hackinson Stephenson had purchased the painting and intended to take it to New York. However, there was no way to save such a large artwork during the sinking. Although Stephenson survived, he lodged a claim against the White Star Line for the loss of the painting, amounting to a substantial $100,000. Among the personal belongings lost in the Titanic's wreckage was a rare and exquisite edition of the Persian poet Omar Khayyam's work, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. The book's cover was crafted from Moroccan leather and adorned with over 1,000 precious stones set in gold. Gabriel Weiss, an American who purchased the book at an auction in London shortly before the Titanic's departure, planned to bring it to New York. However, Weiss never had the opportunity to retrieve his purchase, and the book remains with the ship's wreckage. Even the tableware aboard the Titanic was meticulously designed and made specifically for the ship. First-class passengers dined on plates made by renowned English potter Spode, adorned with the traditional crown pattern. Second-class passengers used Delft tableware, while those in third class had stock whiteware. In 2021, Replica first-class plates from James Cameron's Titanic movie were offered for sale at an online auction with estimated values of up to $1,200. A significant artifact associated with the Titanic is the bell that was rung three times to warn of the iceberg ahead. Frederick Fleet, a lookout in the crow's nest, rang the bell on that fateful night in 1912. The BBC reported that Fleet shouted, Iceberg right ahead when he spotted the danger. Despite efforts to avoid the iceberg, the Titanic ultimately sank. Fleet survived the tragedy, but the bell he rang went down with the ship. A first-class lunch menu, dated April 14, 1912, the day of the Titanic sinking, also holds historical significance. The menu, owned by Dr. Henry Washington Dodge, a well-known banker from San Francisco, provides insight into the meals offered on the ship. Dr. Dodge, along with his wife and son, kept the menu as a memento. All three survived the disaster. The menu featured a variety of options, including fillets of brill, chicken a la Maryland, salmon mayonnaise, potted shrimp, 
veal and ham pie, custard pudding, apple meringue pastry, and eight kinds of cheese. Personal letters can also offer glimpses into the experiences aboard the Titanic. Alexander Oscar Halverson, a first-class passenger, wrote a letter to his mother on luxury stationery embossed with the White Star Line emblem. Halverson praised the ship's grandeur, mentioning its size, palatial amenities, excellent food, and music. Unfortunately, Halverson did not get the chance to post the letter, as he perished in the sinking. The letter was later sold at auction in 2017 for an incredible $175,000. One of the poignant artifacts related to the Titanic is a broken and rusted watch that belonged to Edmund Stone, a first-class bedroom steward. The watch stopped at 2.16 a.m., believed to be the time Stone met his tragic fate in the freezing waters of the Atlantic. The watch was auctioned in England in 2008. The story of the artifacts salvaged from the Titanic serves as a reminder of the human tragedy and the enduring historical significance of the shipwreck. These artifacts provide a tangible connection to the past and a glimpse into the lives of those who sailed on the ill-fated vessel. While the Titanic's sinking resulted in profound loss, the recovery of these priceless treasures helps preserve the memory of that tragic event. The sinking of the Titanic in 1912 resulted in the loss of numerous lives and valuable artifacts. Among the recovered items, there were some notable treasures. Wallace Hartley's violin. Wallace Hartley, the Titanic's bandmaster, played music as the ship sank. His violin, found in 2004, was confirmed to be authentic and auctioned for $1.7 million in 2013. William Carter's car. Carter, a wealthy passenger, had his luxury French automobile packed in the ship's hold. The car went down with the Titanic, and Carter claimed $5,000 in compensation for its loss. Steinway Pianos The Titanic carried five Steinway pianos, including a grand piano and two upright pianos. Unfortunately, all five pianos sank with the ship. Mary Joseph Blundell's painting a passenger named Moritz Stephenson had purchased the painting La Circassie in Aubain and intended to take it to New York. However, it was lost in the sinking, and Stephenson claimed $100,000 in compensation for its loss. Omar Khayyam's book. Gabriel Weiss purchased a rare edition of Omar Khayyam's work, but it never made it to New York. The book, crafted with precious stones and gold, remains with the ship's wreckage. Titanic tableware. First-class passengers dined on spode plates, while second-class passengers used Delft tableware. Replica first-class plates from the movie Titanic were sold at auction in 2021. Frederick Fleet's bell. Fleet, the lookout who spotted the iceberg, rang the bell three times to warn of the danger. The bell went down with the ship. Dr. Henry Washington Dodge's menu. A first-class lunch menu from April 14, 1912, provides insight into the meals offered on the ship. The menu was owned by Dr. Dodge and his family. Personal Letters Alexander Halverson wrote a letter to his mother praising the ship's grandeur. The letter was never posted, as Halverson perished in the sinking. Esther Hart also wrote a letter to her mother on Titanic stationery before the tragedy. Edmund Stone's Watch Stone a Titanic steward, had a watch that stopped at 2.16 a.m., believed to be the time he met his fate. The watch was auctioned in 2008. These artifacts serve as a tangible connection to the tragic event and the lives of those on board the Titanic. They offer insights into the luxurious amenities, personal belongings, and stories of survival and loss associated with the ill-fated ship. Subscribe for more updates.